I can already tell you from life's experience, you will have to end up being okay with others not being okay with you. Mm, yeah. Isn't that so the, true? Isn't it? I'm Susan Goss, and as a seasoned therapist of more than 15 years, I'm honored to have had the opportunity to gain so much wisdom from so many people and love passing that knowledge on to others. So join me and some of my favorite friends as we share some tangible truths with you. Hey guys, welcome back to the Tangible Truth Ministries podcast. Oh my word, I'm so excited. Kelly's back with us. Hey Kelly. Hey, so glad to be back. I am thrilled you are. And we're excited ourselves about this little series, aren't we? Yes. I mean, we are going to hopefully do two more today and then next week. So we're excited about it. Before we get started, we have the announcement for our upcoming conference. Yes. Tell, tell me more about it, Susan. <laughs> it's June the 7th and 8th. So not far away. Yeah. June sounds far away, we know it. but it will be here around the corner, mm -hmm. won't it? It is Tangible Truth Ministries presents three conversations on faith, love, and forgiveness with Beth Moore and myself. Oh, And so we are so excited. And I know you've already got your ticket. Yes. And um, so we're encouraging everyone to, we're going to have a blast. Yeah. And Kelly, all the proceeds of this conference go to the Tangible Truth Ministries Counseling Scholarship oh, that's Fund. That's wonderful. Isn't that awesome? Yes. You're going to help so many people. Really, it's the truth. And our our scholarship fund has just, and the scholarships have just blown up. I mean, it's oh. wonderful that people are willing to sign up and come in. So we're excited. That's amazing. And remember when you were with us, I was the only counselor. Yes. yes. <laughs> and now we have eight. Oh my gosh. I know. That's amazing. I know. So we are thrilled. So that's where the proceeds okay. go. And uh, scholarship opportunities are available. And so you can get your ticket, all the information, and even to inquire about opportunities to help with the scholarship opportunities and donations at www.tangibletruthministries.com. Well, I hope people will give and sponsor the event because it's going to be amazing. Well, I do too. So thank you for that. So today, what we're going to jump right on into is to follow up where we left off. Mm -hmm. So if you've not listened, listeners, to any of the talk we have done on social media, please go back to episodes one and two, and that'll catch you up. And so our lead in today will be, who are we really trying to please? God or man? Mm. That's a big one. That's isn't a it? good question. Isn't that a great question? It is. And it kind of rolls off the tongue pretty mm -hmm. easily. Mm -hmm. But to actually do it, it's not so easy, is it? Mm -mm. And we find this out throughout our lifespan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not just in social media, but in everything that we do. That is so true, Kelly. Mm -hmm. And we, our intentions are always, well, of course, God. Mm -hmm. we, that always comes to our mind. Well, of course, our heart says God. And then the reality is, you know, we have this but. People want us to, because we, we want to help others. We want to please uh, those that we love and all that. And people... And that's in this funny what I'm fixing to say, people get in the way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then sometimes things get in the way mm -hmm. and we have to remind ourselves, wait, wait, wait. Did God ask me to do this? Mm -hmm. Would God want me to do this? Has God told me to do this? My priority and, you know, in scripture, it even says putting God first and these other things will follow. So am I putting my first love first? Am I putting God first? That kind of thing. So pleasing God first, I can already tell you from life's experience, you will have to end up being okay with others not being okay with you. Oh, yeah. Isn't that so the, true? Isn't mm -hmm. it? It is the truth. How does that relate to social media? Oh, big time. I think everything that you post or do, you know, is it pleasing to God? I can even personally find myself posting things thinking this people will like this or people won't get mad mm -hmm. if I post this where they might get mad if I post something that maybe is more glorifying to God. I'm afraid I might offend people. You know, I think oh, you think yes. through that. Oh, that mm -hmm. was a good point. That's mm -hmm. a really good point. Well, I think that's why 
uh, I don't I don't remember if it was episode one or episode two that you said you got hate hate mm-hmm. mail, mm-hmm. you know, or people responded with mm-hmm. hatred. And I think that's why I was taken off of Facebook the yeah. very first time I called you and I was crying and I said, Kelly, the worst <laughs> comments. I mean, they were vulgar yeah. even. And and you said, yeah, get used to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think that was your response. <laughs> Real helpful, but yes. Yeah, but because it was true. It the gospel true. is offensive. The gospel is very offensive. Mm-hmm. And I had to get thick skin really quickly mm-hmm. in that. And I thought I already had thick skin because I had been, you know, through a lot, mm-hmm. uh, but not not on social media. That yeah. was a new thing for me. Mm-hmm. And uh, but I quickly had to learn uh, just like you did when mm-hmm. you were on social media before I was. And so that really helped me like, okay, Susan, you know, you're going to have to get used to that. And I did. Mm-hmm. I did. I mean, you never get used to it. I don't mean to say it yeah. that way. You never get used to it. You never no. get used to mm-hmm. it. But I understood. I have to know who I am. Mm-hmm. I know I have to know what I believe in and I have to take a stand for that. Yes. And that means if I'm pleasing God and I know who I am with him, I have to be okay with others not being okay with me. Yes. That's what I mean by that. So I want you, Kelly, you walked in today on the podcast showing me something yeah. that some did somebody send this to you I just I just was scrolling through social media <laughs> this is let me hilarious. just be real honest I was scrolling through late last night that is hilarious and I saw a post and I thought well this is exactly what Susan and I are talking about and I don't even know um it's it's someone named Brandon that posted this I don't know him mm-hmm. someone else had shared it but I stopped and read it and I took a screenshot because I thought this is so good you want me to read what it yes, says? Okay, so please. it says, um, my relationship with social media changed once I stopped looking at it as social media and I started looking at it as service media. Mm. Ask yourself, am I posting for attention or with intention? I love that. I think that's really good. One feeds the ego. One feeds the heart. Mm. And the difference between the two is everything. It is is everything. I I thought that was so good. I love that. Am I posting for attention or with intention? That is, that is the best Mm -hmm. quote. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we want to convey. Yes, that goes right back to, am I pleasing God or pleasing man? I think, you know, what are you using? And And I've heard that before, like ask yourself before you post, is this helpful? Is this true? Is this going to be uplifting to people, you know, just kind of, Mm -hmm. I think sometimes we can just post fun things, you know, Yes. Hey, I went to this, a ball game last night and it was fun, you know, but I think what is your intention with this post? And, Mm -hmm. you know, is it going to glorify God? Are you being a light? And I think those are things to ask. Absolutely. And I think that sums it up so well. Mm -hmm. I love that quote. And I want to ask you to read it one more yeah, time. I it's will. so good. I will. Okay. So, well, I like the part also of I stopped looking at it as social media and I started looking at it as service media. Service. I thought you said, mm-hmm. I didn't know if it was social ser- uh, as service media. Uh-huh. Using like it as that. a service. Ask yourself, am I a posting for attention or with intention? Mm-hmm. One feeds the ego, one feeds the heart. And the difference between the two is everything. It is. It is everything. I love the word intention Mm -hmm. because intentionality is everything. Everything. Yes. Uh, When we're not willy nilly, as my grandmother used to say, doing, (laughs) you know, just posting Mm -hmm. or. uh, But this goes to what we also said, Kelly, about uh, social media being for good. Mm hmm. And for harm, but it can be so good. Yes. With intention, Mm -hmm. with intentionality. Mm -hmm. So I love the way that was worded. Thank you, Brandon. Is it Brandon? Brandon. (laughs) So kudos to Brandon, whoever Brandon Mm -hmm. is. Uh, Well worded, well thought out and true. Mm -hmm. So I really, really appreciate that. So when we are asking ourselves, who am I trying to please? God or man, that is also part of the scripture that I read Mm -hmm. of guarding our heart. Mm -hmm. If you recall, listeners, I read Proverbs 4.23 that said, above all else, guard your heart Mm -hmm. 
for it is the wellspring of our life. So when we're guarding our heart, it's very important for us to be, you know, to be alert, be careful about what our heart is looking at, our eyes are looking at, what we are doing. And I read that other scripture, I think it was Psalm 19, uh, 14, about our words and our heart being pleasing to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's all part of pleasing him and not man Mm -hmm. in social media world. Yes. And I like what you said about be alert. Mm -hmm. I think that's I think that's good for yourself, for your children, whatever you're doing. As you look through the lens, when you're looking at social media, be alert at what what triggers you, what you know, what is what are you looking at? Mm hmm. Yes, absolutely. Because there's so much out there to look at Mm -hmm. Uh, and you can fall prey to anything. Mm -hmm. So just be alert. It's Mm -hmm. a very easy thing. I I say it's easy, but if you're easy, I know it's not easy for a lot of people, but if you're alert and intentional, Mm -hmm. it can be part of your rhythm Mm -hmm. uh, for social media. Uh, Because I was like you, I got caught up, you know, last night I I, I looked at that. (laughs) I looked at Instagram, you know, last night as well, because I had I had posted actually because this is another really good way to use social media. Yesterday was a two years of my mother's yes. passing. And I know that you saw that. Yes. And you wrote a really sweet tribute. And it was it was sweet for me to get to see, yes. you know, a, a reminder that yes. it was that day for you. And so, yes. Mm-hmm. And I had so many wonderful yes. comments mm-hmm. of people that absolutely loved my mother and she had touched their heart. And so I didn't want the day to go by without sharing that because it brought up so many wonderful uh, thoughts yes. about my mother from others, you know. And probably prompted a lot of people to pray for you. Yes, you they know? did. And I they think did. that's a neat thing too. Just... And it was a wonderful avenue mm-hmm. to share. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so that was a good use of of social media. And so there's so many good points mm-hmm. of social media and we want to we want to always, you know, you know, talk about the good of social media. And for me yesterday, that was a wonderful, wonderful. And I was able to read those comments. I was so blessed. It made me cry (laughs) because, you know, I miss mother so much, but I felt so loved yesterday reading those comments. And so that was such a blessing and I thank the Lord for it. So you can use social media in such a wonderful way. You have to be alert to guard Mm -hmm. your heart against the bad parts of social Mm -hmm. media. Mm -hmm. And you have to to, uh, guard your hearts for yourself uh, and watch what you're posting um, for yourself as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think that was another good example of good intentions, you yes, know, good yes. intentions to share your mother with. Mm-hmm. And you can reach a lot more people that way than you would have ever been able to. Yes. You know, that can see that and remember your mom and remember yes. you and pray. And yes, yes, mm-hmm. 100%. So it can be good. It can be used for good as mm-hmm. well. And, and to get the word out for, yes. for the gospel, Absolutely. as you were saying. Yes. So. I think it's, you know, what a way that we can share the gospel to thousands of people that ever even leave in our house, mm-hmm. you know, where mm-hmm. instead of having to get in an airplane and go across, mm-hmm. you can share the gospel through social media and who would have ever dreamed that? I know. And, and Kelly, you being very prominent on social media. I know that you get a lot of requests. Will you do this? Will mm-hmm. you do that? Will you do that? Mm-hmm. Well, that's man. Mm-hmm. And so I know that you have to stop and pray, God, mm-hmm. is this something that I can do or that you would la- allow me to do or want me to do? Yes. And so you've had to have a lot of no's. Yes. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's true. So how do you weigh the difference between a yes and a no? I mean, I hope that I usually pray about it. And it's kind of that intention, I think, is okay. will this will this benefit people? You know, yes. do, is this something I believe in? Um, is this something that I think will help people? Or is this just, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think that's, I'm trying to think of how the best way is, but I just, I think you have to weigh out what's important um, of my mission. And my mission is mm-hmm. always to try to be a light for Jesus. And so if I think that goes along with it, then yes, I want to share. If it's people I love and know that they love Jesus and know that they want to share something, then absolutely, you know, mm-hmm. um, and some things are just kind of trivial and maybe I don't mm-hmm. share. So mm-hmm. yeah, you have to weigh it out. Mm-hmm. 
and that is godly wisdom yes. and godly discernment is what I feel, yeah. not the world's. Yeah. And I'm a people pleaser. So it's hard for me. to. Yes. I don't like to say no ever. So, yeah. mm-hmm. but, and that's why we're talking about who we trying to please God or mm-hmm. man. I think that boils down to what we're, I think that's a great example. If I'm a people pleaser, how do I say no? Yes. So I think that's why. Mm -hmm. pleasing God or man is very important. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to end this podcast with you reading that one more time. I know that would be the third time, but I think it's that important. Don't you? Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful quote and we'll end today's podcast with it. And then we're going to talk one more time on social media, but I love this quote that much. Yes, yeah, I hope Kelly. the listeners will take this with them and kind of think about mull over it today. I do too. As they go to get on social media. Um, my relationship with social media changed once I stopped looking at it as social media and started looking at it as service media. Everybody ask yourselves today, am I posting for attention or with intention? Because mm. one feeds the ego, one feeds the heart. And the difference between the two is everything. Amen. Thank you for that quote. Thank you so much. Think on Mm -hmm. that. Thank you, listeners. We love you, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to the Tangible Truth Podcast, part of the KLRC Podcast Network.